Sign by Tano. Tonight we have already heard the voice of Temujin, the voice of Chinggis Khan. Today it lives in the music of Mongolia, in the composers, in the musicians, and the singers, and I thank them for their performance tonight. <laughs> Two years before Chinggis Khan made the Mongol Empire, he decreed Mongol Bichik, Mongol Bichik, the writing of the law. He knew that before he could have a nation, he had to have a law. In order to have a law, he needed to be able to write the laws. Writing was the first gift of Chinggis Khan to his people. Then two years later, he gave them the nation, and then they began to write the laws of the eternal blue sky. This was the influence of Chinggis Khan to bring the law of the eternal blue sky that taught the unification of all religions, the tolerance of all religions, all people, all cultures, and all languages under the eternal blue sky and the law of the eternal blue sky. Today, <clears throat> we can see the stamp of Chinggis Khan, the Tamak of Chinggis Khan on the world. His influence exists today in worlds in ways that we have forgotten. In this dream of a united world where people have the freedom to worship as they please, where women are no longer bought and sold, when we protect the waters of the earth and the forest and the animals. These were the laws that they wrote in Mongol Bichik, the laws of the eternal blue sky. Those were the laws that he wrote. He gave us a dream, a dream. We have not fulfilled this dream. We do not have religious tolerance. We do not have freedom for women from abduction and from sale. We do not have freedom of diplomats everywhere in the world. We do not protect the water. We do not protect the forest. We do not protect the animals. The tamak of Chinggis Khan on the world is a reminder to us of Munghuk Tingir, the eternal blue sky. And I pray, I pray that one day this world will follow the law of the eternal blue sky. I thank you very much.